Okay, the court is back in session. Does both counsel, are you prepared for your closing statements now? I, uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, I've been ready, yes, Your Honor. I, uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay, Counsel Kavanaugh, you may approach the podium and provide the court your closing statement. Uh, Your Honor, the state would like to also motion for the free release defense. Okay, the motion is under advisement. <clears throat> oh, wait, this is my turn. <clears throat> Your Honor, uh, people present today, thank you so much for your time and patience in hearing this case. Today, we are hearing the case of the two defendants, uh, Milo Lim and Ramsey Jones. Uh, having the unlawful and unregistered firearms. The defense today will be wishing to assert and paint them as the helpless victims of a crime. However, the facts and evidence of this case is telling the very different story. Today, this incident is starting out as a traffic stop, an innocent traffic stop of the reported stolen vehicle. During this stop, for the officer testimony, no individuals in this car are appearing to be, appearing to be in any kind of distress. No weapons brandished in the vehicle, the driver hands clearly visible on the wheel. The vehicle being surrounded by three officers of the law. When the officer is directing the driver out of the vehicle, the driver that refusing to identify himself, the passenger and defendant Milo is asserting deep. The vehicle is taking off almost immediately following this suggestion. No 911 calls previous to this traffic stop was noted by the policia or the dispatch, and only after the vehicle was fleeing did the lady Ramsey finally be putting in a 911 call, asserting that they were the passenger of the vehicle. It would not stop, not help, not I'm kidnapped, I'm the passenger. The vehicle they pursuing from the traffic stop that the defendants was occupying did eventually be stopping, allowing the defendants to exit the vehicle. At the time they were detained, they were searched. Neither defendant at this time are saying anything about any kidnapping or being a hostage at the time of the detainment. They were not appearing to be in any distress. And they are not mentioning anything about a gun being placed on them at the time of the searching. The Finney Milo is even asserting, yes, I have the firearm on my person. It was not until after they learning the weapons was being unregistered that they did be asserting that these weapons were placed upon them. Again, at no point in time did either defendant be asking for help or assistance. Not yelling from the car, help please. Again, the 911 call is stating, I'm the passenger in this blue car. He won't stop. I'm the passenger. The evidence and testimony today clearly showing that neither defendant is indicating any signs of being kidnapped or having guns placed on him before the lawful searches. It was only upon the revelation of the charges for these weapons that they did be weaving the web of stories to be being the victim. The state will assert that a gun is not a small thing, especially not the heavy pistols recovered. Not the, uh, I think it was the MK2 pistol either. Big guns. Very heavy weighty. Um, this is, um, it is not possible to not be knowing if a gun was being placed on your person. It will be especially obvious of someone to be reaching across the center console and forcing a gun upon you. And even more obvious is somebody is reaching into the back seat of a vehicle, forcing a weapon upon you. With a time of their detainment, no mention of any weapons being placed on their person. No signs of distress. No mention of kidnapping. This court proceeding today was clearly being the case of the defendants looking for the easy way out of the crimes. The state will be thanking the officer for his diligent actions to be upholding public safety by getting the dangerous weapons off the street. Unlawful possession of the class 1 farm is the possession of a class 1 farm without a license. Neither defendant at the time of arrest or searching being in possession of these weapons was having the farm's license. It was not before or following the incident that they have the license. 
Your also, Honor, I, I, I'm sorry. She needs to stop raising her voice so high. What? Am, am I, am I being too passionate, Your Honor? Uh, uh is she, is she allowed for you, Council? Uh, not just for me, Your Honor. Okay. It seems to be raising the voice in some parts, which gets to be the point of almost shouting. Okay. Uh, yeah. Councilor Kevin, I'll just uh, kind of step away from the microphone there just a little bit. Uh, oh, okay, okay. This courtroom okay. does have uh, AV issues. Be, I'll be way over here. Is this is this better for the defense? Your Honor, really? Are, are we in... Uh, I'm trying. Is is the issue she's too close to the microphone, or is the issue her tone of voice that you're talking with? And how she's acting right now, like a school child. What? Okay, I, I'm trying to identify the issue. Is, is the issue? <laughs> a, she walked a... away, and she's like, "Is this good enough?" Uh, I the, understand that issue. Well, I'm I'm uh, asking I'm for clarification. Okay. No, it, it's is fine. The, I'm I've been the... trying to listen. It's fine. It's fine. It'll all be dealt with after. Don't worry. Well, okay, so is the issue her being too close to the microphone, or is it her tone of voice that you don't uh, appreciate? I, I need to know which one so I can make a decision on what I need to do with her. Your Honor, it's both. It was both. Okay. First, it was the, it was, the, it was <laughs> how loud she was getting in some of her in some of her speech, and then she decided to walk away and act like this. Okay, counselor, you can approach the microphone. Don't uh, get too close to it. This courtroom is known to have <coughs> uh, bad speakers. So uh, you may approach the podium. Just be careful. Okay, yes, yes, your honor. Can people still be hearing me? I'm almost done. Okay. We can hear you. Perfect, where was I? Um, on neither defendant having the firearm license before or following this incident. Also, unlawful position of class 1 farm, being in position of the class 1 farm, not registered to the person. No weapon secured as a result of this incident was being registered to either defendant, with one weapon even being registered to an unidentified third party. The state again will assert that this case is baseless. The defense uh, today was being the waste of the court time. As such, the state again will be motioning the court for the frivolous defense. That is all. Nice fucking job. That was sick. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, Councilor Starr, so you'll have the opportunity to present the court your so closing so statement as well, please. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, man, that was articulated very well. Your Honor and people of the gallery. Well, this case well, let's hear this. has quite the facts to it. There's quite a bit that is missing to... There's quite a lot that wasn't said, and what goes unsaid is usually the most powerful thing. If if 